Hey everyone, welcome to my family room. I thought I would do a few things differently today. First of all, instead of having separate footage of me trying on the outfit and me talking over it, I thought we'd try just very casual style, like we're chit-chatting, like we are the friends that we are, right? So let's pretend you're sitting in front of me on my couch and we're just getting together like girlfriends do. So that's change number one. Change number two, obviously, I'm in my family room. Just thought it'd be fun to change up the background a little bit. We'll see how this goes. Can't guarantee that I'll be here again, but I would love your feedback. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this filming setup. So today, I was initially gonna do a follow-up to my how to not look frumpy, and old, getting out of your styling rut, and it just didn't sit with me. And then I thought of it. This is the video I need to do. It's what's wrong with my outfit. I can't speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself, but I cannot tell you how many days I put an outfit together, like this one, thinking this is gonna look cute, and it just doesn't. And sometimes I can figure out why it's not working for me, and other times it, the the piece of clothing that I think is the culprit just sits in the closet looking at me angrily until I end up donating it or giving it away to a friend. So today I thought I would walk you through a few of the outfits where I have had issues, how I fix them. Maybe you think I didn't, that's all good. I would love to hear the feedback. And let's just get started with what turned out to not be this outfit. So I went and had my hair done yesterday, and for that, I wanted an outfit that was just comfortable. I knew I was taking my shirt off to get my hair done, so I wanted something that was easy to either pull over or unbutton very quickly. I just wanted comfortable pants. I love these. And then I thought, I'll just throw some slip-on sneakers and we're good. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, nah, this just, this isn't quite right. I love this top. I love these jogger style denim pants and I love these sneakers. I have them in two pair, but it's just not working for me. So I decided to change things up a bit. So let me show you what I did. But before I go there, let me just explain what I was thinking is these denim joggers, they're jogger style in that they have the elastic waist and tie, but they're really more of a straight leg bottom. They're not the tapered sweatpant kind of cuff on the bottom here. They're bulkier, right? They're a heavier denim. They add a little more everywhere because they're not fitted. They're more of a straight leg. So I thought, ideally, if you go by what fashion rules say, you're supposed to pair it with a more closely fitted top, right? Well, it just, it doesn't, I don't think this does anything for me. I have nothing against flats or sneakers when paired with the right outfit, but this doesn't make me look my best. I don't think. So let me show you the first thing that I changed. So the first thing I did was change my shirt. Now, this is counterintuitive. All the rules say you shouldn't have something blousey with something that's bulky on the bottom. But here is where I think it works. When you tuck in a blouse and then you blouse it out, now there is separation between the belly and the front of the shirt. There is about an inch or two of space between this part of my body and this part of my body. It makes this look smaller. It actually makes my waist look smaller than when I had the fitted shirt on. At least that's what I think. I feel better about it. And as we go through this, that is really the key to making all of these outfits look better. If you don't feel right in what you're wearing, even if it's the most fashionable, most amazing outfit that anyone has ever picked out for you, if you don't feel good in it, it doesn't, even, it doesn't matter. You have to feel good. So as long as you like what's looking back at you in the mirror and you can walk out with a smile on your face and standing up straight, two things I need to work on, the rest of it doesn't matter so much. But for some reason, when I was looking in the mirror, I didn't love I like it, it's good, it's not great. This made me feel great. Plus, obviously, this is gonna be a lot easier to get on and off without messing up my hair than a shirt I have to pull over my head. Next, let's go down to these shoes. I like these shoes. I like them with a different pair of pants. They're not working for me here. And this is why so many of us are holding onto our skinny jeans, myself included, because with skinny jeans, we know what kind of shoes to wear with them. They go with a lot of shoes. The length is not an issue. If they are a little too long, we cuff them. If they're a little too short, we throw in a higher, you know, like a knee boot or something. Straight leg pants are so tricky to 
find the right shoe. So let me walk you through the shoe dilemma that I went through. These, for me, they're super comfy. They're not working with this outfit. Hang on. So then I swapped them out for boots with a heel. Anything with a heel, especially a chunky heel that's easy to walk around in, it forces me to stand up straight. It elongates the legs. I feel thinner. I think these are great. I also picked a booty that's still technically an ankle booty, but it has a taller shaft. So let's see if I can balance on one foot. So these stop right around here. There's not much of a difference in skin tone here. One of the benefits of fall is I don't have to really do self-tanner. Hi, Mimi. But the problem with these, as you can see, first of all, I think there's too much of a contrast between the lightness of the suede and the dark denim. The other problem is because these are Western style and they have loops on the top, as I was walking around, it kept catching, they're doing it now, on the bottom of the jean. Awkward and weird. So then I went for option number three. So now we're on to the final rendition of this outfit. This is what I ended up liking, what I not only wore to go get my hair done, but then I proceeded to keep it on the rest of the day, ran errands, went to do some stuff downtown, felt really comfortable in this. So all I did was swap them out for darker colored booties. These still have the chunky heel. They have a smoother top to them. I don't know if this exact style is still available, but you could even probably get away with just under the knee high boot because of the width of these jeans. These jeans are still available in, I think, four or five different washes in a variety of sizes. So speaking of links, while we're here, before we get to the next outfit, all the links to all the clothes that are currently available will be listed down in the description box in order in which I describe them here with timestamps to each outfit. If you do not know what I am talking about, I've gotten a lot of emails lately asking, where are these links you're talking about? I can't find them. It's easy for me to say, look in the description box. It's not that easy for me to tell you how to find them. It depends on whether you're watching on a mobile or a desktop, what kind of mobile device. So my best advice for you, I know this might not be the most helpful advice that you're gonna get, is you need to Google it specific to the device you're watching. How do I find the description box on a YouTube video while watching on an iPhone or on an iPad or on my desktop? That's going to be the most helpful way for me to direct you there. So this is the first outfit that ended up working for me. All right, now this outfit I saw on Amazon and I thought the girl wearing it looked very cool. It was oversized on her and slouchy and she's probably 5'8 and weighs less than me. And so that probably is why it looked very different on her body type than mine. I still love this. I still wear it and want to wear it, but I know wearing it like this. I actually have an Instagram picture edited and ready to go of this outfit that I have not posted because it's like, oh, this is not my best. This is not my best look. I bought this because one, I thought it looked super cool. Two, I love a match set. This does come in lots of other colors because it is from Amazon. But I love that it's corduroy. It's not your typical jersey type knit material. It has pockets but it does have like a, just an elastic waistband. Great for travel, great for loungewear, work from home, but this is not doing anything for me. I do wanna point out though, this corduroy is a really neat texture and I think it would look even better probably in some of the lighter colors that's more easily seen, like the green and the blue, but you can't go wrong with black. I think black is easier to take apart and wear this with something different and wear the pants with something different. But all together just like this, Kind of looks like I'm wearing like my dad's or my boyfriend's, if I was a younger person, or Michael's, my husband's outfit. So let's fix this. Now, before I exit and change things up, I do want to talk about these shoes that I have on because I think they're great and it solves a lot of the problems as far as shoelaces go. So let me show you up close. So it's not about the sneaker. The sneaker's great. It's from Madewell and it's their sidewalk sneaker and they have different iterations of it every year. But I wanna talk about these shoelaces that I got from Amazon and I have bought multiple times because they are like a latex fake shoelace. You pull the original shoelaces out and then these slide in, they come in sets and then you, know, you can tighten them. You can see them inside there. You can pull them tight however you want and then you never have to tie these laces again. They're great for you know those of us that want to look a little more fashionable with our shoes. They're great for kids. They come in kid sizes. And look how easy it is to slide your shoes on and off. So if you're wondering how to deal with the shoelaces, 
They do come in lots of other colors as well. I'll put the link. Fantastic, best ones I've found. But as much as I like all of these things, maybe not together. So let's see if we can fix this. Okay, a couple tiny little changes, but I think they make a big difference. First is I just put on a tank. This is a microfiber tank. You don't have to go all the same color, but I do feel like this is a little more slenderizing. You can go with a tank that gives you a little more support, like the Honey Love one, if you want things to be shrunk up a little bit. I just like this microfiber one. It does come in tons of other colors. And then I unbuttoned, or in this case, unsnapped, the big shirt. There's a little more movement. There is a change in the space here, so you can actually see that I have a body underneath. And then the other thing I did was I'm still wearing slip-on sneakers, but these are a little bit darker. There is some black on them, so it's not so much of a contrast between my feet and the pants. Could you go with all black sneakers? You absolutely could. I just think these add a little bit more interest without being too much interest. You don't want the whole focus to be on your feet. You want people looking up at your face. I like this change because I feel, I still feel comfortable, but I feel like you can tell that there is an actual body underneath here, but I still feel very comfortable, not just literally comfortable because this is super cozy, but I, I don't feel like anything is too tight or too exposed either. So there you go. The perfect loungewear travel outfit. Now, there is nothing wrong with this outfit as far as I am concerned. I am very much looking forward to wearing this out of the house. As I am filming this, which is the day before you're seeing this, it is currently 80 degrees. Texas has not gotten the memo that it's fall. I hear it's coming though. Anyway, this is the after outfit. Let me show you, let me move over. I'll go this way. What inspired the before. So you probably recall, because it was the last video, yeah, I had a bunch of holiday pieces that I got at Walmart, these joggers being one of them. And I thought in the interest of saving time and showing you all the things at once, that I should wear all the things at once. And the reality is, that was not my best moment. That was just not a, a look. And I'm pretty sure I even said in the video that I would not recommend wearing all of these pieces all at the same time between the shimmer peplum top, the faux leather joggers, the ankle stiletto booties, and a fur coat. That was leaning more toward Halloween costume than holiday party fair. So let's break up some of those pieces and I'll show you how I would really style them and how I plan on wearing this maybe as soon as next week, fingers crossed. So these are the same faux leather joggers, same size and all that. But a couple of things that are different, I put them with these kind of nude tone booties. This is a pretty current way to make black pants look a little more casual, a little less street style and more just casual style. I feel like when you do all black with the black booties and the sort of pants, it's a little more gritty, a little edgier, and there's nothing wrong with that. My personal style is a little more casual than that. So I like pairing the nude tone shoes with black pants in general, whether they're jeans or pants, slacks, joggers, what have you. And then I just actually found this at Walmart. I've talked about this a few times. It's the ribbed tunic. It goes pretty long in the back. It has a nice split. So you can choose to tuck the whole thing in if you'd like, or just the front like I did here. And I kind of want to explain, I'm going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to kind of explain what this front tuck does for those of us that have a pooch. And I do have one. Look what happens. I mean, I'm wearing the panties that come all the way up, so that does help. But I mean, you know, that's like a good four month size baby right there. It is what it is. But the reason why I'm addressing this is I've seen a few comments saying, I have a belly. There's no way I can do a front tuck or a full tuck. It just accentuates this part of my body. And I want you to give it a try. You don't have to leave the house if you're uncomfortable, but in the privacy of your own home, give it a try. And the reason why I think it works is because as you can see, it's the same as when I had those denim joggers on and I tucked in the shirt. It gives space between the front of your belly that's protruding farther than you would like, and then the overhang of the shirt. It makes this difference in elevations, if you will, and it cheats the eye and makes it look like there's less space here. Most of the time, you're looking at people head on, right? Obviously, if you turn to the side, there is that, def there is that separation. The shirt sticks out farther than the gut, 
but it's a little more obvious. But most of the time when you're talking to people, you're looking at them head on. You look them directly in the eye, you smile, they're not gonna be noticing this part anyway. So I just wanna offer that to you. And the other reason why the front tuck works a little bit better and making that illusion possible than a full tuck is do you see how it kind of curves down? Yeah, because it goes down on the sides, it makes your legs look longer. Instead of if I tuck everything in, it's just a straight line. It kind of cuts me off at the hips where if I let it hang a little loose and it goes down like that, it makes the legs look longer. It's all about illusions and knowing your angles. Anyway, this is how I would definitely wear these faux leather joggers, not exactly how I styled them for the Walmart video, or if it's still warm where you are, just a basic white tee. Maybe throw on a denim jacket as it gets a little cooler. You can wear sneaks as well if you really want that cool girl look. This is a much easier way and honestly super, super comfortable, which is always the key. Right. The other part of that outfit that was just too much is this shimmer peplum top. Take another look at it. I love this top, but I love it better when it's worn a little more casually. You could swap these out for black jeans, which I think would be also nice. I don't actually have any true black jeans. I need to remedy that. But I like the sort of casual part down here and then the more elevated top. This is great for a girl's night out. This is great for a date night. I actually took the slingback shoes off, the ones that had the crystal bows, very pretty, and just toned it down and did black leather pumps. I think one piece of sparkly, shimmery clothing or accessories per outfit is probably enough here. In all honesty, the kinds of holiday parties that I'm invited to at this stage in my life are usually just get-togethers, open houses at my friend's homes, not a fancy cocktail party, not something at the club, not at a nice restaurant. More often than not, I even have one in a couple of weeks, we're just going to a friend's house. And so if I'm gonna dress up for the holidays, I'll put on one piece, like maybe this, maybe something else, and then the rest, I'm gonna keep it pretty casual. I probably, if it's just to go to a friend's house, We'll probably swap out the heels for black boots. But in general, this is how I would choose to wear the peplum top. I love the peplum shape. I love that it is fitted here. There's a slight little ruffle here. So it kind of skims over this part of my body that I am self-conscious about, which I really like. I love everything about this. I love the flare jean. I'm really, really getting into this. And I'm happy, and again, I am comfortable in what I am wearing. So this is not the actual outfit. The outfit that we're gonna end with is an outfit that I wore, I'm gonna insert a picture here, to an influencer event at the Erin Condren store. This was a great day because it's always fun to go to an event, right, and get out of the house and do something different. I wanted to look, you know, a little cooler because, you know, it's an influencer event. You wanna put your best foot forward. And I had just gotten this blazer. I saw this blazer on the mannequin in the window at White House Black Market and I thought it was so, cool and then I decided to go all tone on tone and I went with this not even the right shade top underneath it and skinny like everything about it it just didn't fit right the materials didn't go together I had also bought these really cute pumps from White House Black Market that were purple I was just like adding all the things very similar to what I did with the Walmart holiday outfit where I took one piece that was cute and I just kept going with it and just too much too much at once so how would I change this outfit if I had to wear it again today? Well, first of all, let's talk about the actual blazer. I think it is so cute. I love it. This is the studio blazer from White House Black Market. I am wearing it in a size six. And the current trend is it for me a little more loose than this. Now, it's not currently available in this exact pink. It is currently available in velvet in a gorgeous indigo blue. There is also a pink version that's in felt instead of velvet. But my point is it's really fitted. It's, it, I can feel it. It doesn't pull, but I can feel almost that it is pulling across my shoulders. I don't have the freedom of movement. It feels very constricting. And that affected my mood the whole day. It affected how I felt about myself. It doesn't matter if this is cute. It doesn't matter that this was on the mannequin in a store and everybody was stopping to look at it. I don't feel good in it. The other problem was, and I've changed it here, and this just came in the mail, so I haven't even steamed it. I just threw it on. I love this sort of shell. I think everybody needs something like this 
in their closet in a white, maybe a cream, also a black. It's a great piece to layer underneath a blazer like this. It allows you more freedom of movement. That would have helped. Um, this is a heavier weight material, so it's, it's opaque. I don't need to worry about anything showing through. I really like this. This is new to me. I will link it. If I had to do this outfit all over again, I wouldn't do the skinny jeans. I feel a lot more comfortable in this. I would take this off and I would swap out for one, a blazer I'm about to order, but don't have. Let me insert a picture of it over there, over there, somewhere. It's going in. It's brand new. It's actually from Walmart. It's actually a far better price point. And it's more of that looser fit, and it goes a little bit longer as well. That's personally what I am more comfortable in. And so I know I'm going to feel better wearing it. But then I just got this one if I want to stick with the whole pink thing. This is another piece that just came in the mail. I haven't steamed it or anything. This is from Amazon. It's from The Drop. I actually sized up to a medium because I want more of that drapey feel. I know the sleeves are a little long. I know the whole thing is a little bit oversized, although the shoulders do end almost exactly where my shoulders are, so it's not horrible. They do have the pads, which gives it a little more structure. I would, in the interest of time not going to, but I would definitely roll up both of the sleeves so that the length can be appropriate. I feel so much better right now, I cannot even tell you, than when I felt stuffed into that blazer. So, oh, and these are fully functional pockets. I just haven't um, undone the stitching. Did I do it on this side yet? No, but these are functional pockets. It feels great. It's not as restrictive. I can stand up straight. I can smile with a genuine smile on my face because I don't feel like this. And if you like this, it does come in lots of other colors. I also bought the matching suit pants. So it's a traditional suiting look in a very non-traditional color. I really like it. And then I just swapped out the shoes instead of the purple pumps with bows and just a little too fussy, just some nice basic nude pumps. They're actually the same as the black pumps I just had on. They're just in a neutral suede option. So those are just a few of the outfits that I have struggled with both recently and a little bit ago. This happens more often than not, and I'm going to start making a note of when this happens to me so I have more outfits to show you in the next few months. I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Be sure to check the description box for all of the links. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.